Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to continue from where I left off. In the first tutorial, I discussed how to actually apply the bone tool within a symbol. Now, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the bone tool to connect different symbols. Um, so you're forming like you know now they operate now the 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 symbols will operate like uh, links in a chain. Um, this little schematic diagram here will show you pretty much like you have a red symbol and you have a blue symbol, and then um, the bone connects the red symbol and the blue symbol. Now, <clears throat> if you notice here, the if you're looking at this diagram where the you have two joints of one bone, right? You have the the A joint and the B joint. Now the A joint is the starting joint, and the B is where it ends. It starts in this red symbol and ends in the blue symbol. Um, now the blue symbol, the movement can can you know be in two ways. It can revolve around this joint, and it can also revolve around this joint. Um, you can allow you have the you know through the the the, the uh, settings in the properties box, you can actually uh, control the way this moves. So you can allow this movement and prevent this one. Or you can, you know, vice versa, or you can al allow both. It's up to you. Um, <clears throat> I generally, you know, exercise an amount of control depending on what joint um, uh, or how am I using it, you know. So it's up to your discretion. I'll just uh, reveal these other symbols that I created to um, do this illustration. Um, I'm going to copy them. Shortcut is uh, Command C and Command V to paste. Okay, so uh, one of the main rules uh, to keep in mind is that you cannot, the bone tool, for the bone tool to, to work in connecting symbols, um, there cannot be two joints in any one symbol. So, for example, I'll activate the bone tool. See, it does not form the other joint in this symbol unless it's being connected to another symbol. So, the symbols can overlap, it doesn't matter, but the point is, this joint has to come in contact with a new symbol that that doesn't have a bone in it. So if you notice, it doesn't allow me to add a bone. It doesn't allow me to add a bone here or here, or even in the space, you know, between it. I have to connect, come in contact with a new symbol. See, it doesn't matter how you know how far it is or how close it is. It doesn't matter. Once it comes in contact with a new symbol, it will attach itself. So basically, the bone, in a sense, can be as long as you want or as short as you want. You know, once it's connecting, and if you think about, you know, the bones in your body operates in the same way. Like, you know, what's the point of having a joint if it's not connecting two bones? You know. Um, however, there may be a case where you know you want to uh, manipulate only one symbol. You know, you may not necessarily want to connect two symbols. You may just want to rotate one of them. Um, well, how do you do that? Well, that's why I have this little dot. It's pretty simple. Um, you just, and the point is, you have to make it small enough that it, it can hide behind, you know, whichever symbol you wanted to put it in. So say, for example, I'll put it on this symbol. Now, if I activate the bone tool and I start the, um, uh, I make one joint here and then I put the other joint on the symbol, now it attaches. So now you can actually have a bone, you know, in one symbol. And if you wanted to, now when you click away, you're seeing both symbols. You, you know, you generally don't want that. You want to see one. So all you have to do is click on this one, and then you have the option, I right click, you have the option to arrange. And then you can send it, you know, send it to the back or forward and so on and so forth. By sending it to the back, now you only see one symbol. And you click on it now you can you know manipulate it how you want um, how is that relevant well there may be a case where uh, you want to do something like this now I have this symbol I'm gonna put it you know um, let's say well I, I, I had already uh, applied a bone to that so that's why the bone is apply is, is showing itself now, <clears throat> I'll put this symbol up to it like that. Now, if I put this here, and then I'm going to start a bone that connects this symbol to this symbol. Now, objective, this is what I want to do. I want to rotate the, um, the green symbol 
you know, left and right above this symbol while it's, it's connected. I'll show you. If I just do it this way, I wouldn't be able to do that. If I just connect um, both of them like that and now try to move it, you know, that's what happens. You know, I don't want that. I want to be able to um, connect the purple and the green uh, symbol and also be able to, you know, rotate or move the green symbol without moving the purple one. So this is, you know, a quick way of doing that. You put the dot, then you um, start the bone tool. Now I don't move it, you know, directly to that symbol. I first move it to the green symbol and then I'll move it to that symbol. See? Now I want this to disappear so I send it to the back. Arrange, send to the back. Or another quick shortcut is to just hit command down and it will send it to the back. Now I'll make this symbol, I'll you know, deselect enable rotation and then now you can have that. See? So what I did was um, I connected I made a I made two bones. One from the purple symbol to the green symbol and then from the green symbol to the orange symbol. And then I just sent the orange symbol to the back. Because if it weren't for the orange symbol, I wouldn't be able to have two joints in this symbol. You know, so and then I made this joint in the purple symbol. Um, I disabled rotation. So therefore, you know, if we're moving this, the purple one stay fixed. You know, it doesn't move at all. Um, I'll just show you how you create like a. So sometimes you can you can use this for you know making like a, a chain or anything like that. It's, you know, it's pretty useful. Like that. And then like that. So now all three are connected. And you know, now you can do something like this. You know, you could have enough, you know, unlimited amount of symbols connected, and then you have a nice little chain. And it, it's not necessarily, you know, they, they function like links in a chain, but they can be used for just about anything. Because they could you could actually use them to um you know simulate the um the movement of a snake or rope or or uh, a tree branch or anything like that. You know, it's pretty useful. Um, uh, let's see if, if there's anything. Uh, also, you know, as I said before, you can also, you can control um, the range of motion. And I covered that in the first, it applies the same here. Um, if, for example, I wanted to make sure this um, symbol was not allowed to rotate the whole 360 degrees, I could just, you know, limit the way it um, it rotates by selecting the joint and then go to uh, joint rotation under properties, joint rotation, I would enable it and then constrain and then to whatever, you know, angle that I want. See, by default, it constrains it to minus 45 and positive 45. And remember I said that uh, minus 45 just means counterclockwise. How far counterclockwise can it go? And positive means how far clockwise um, will it go? So <clears throat> it's pretty much a control you have over it. And the same thing with this. You can also control, you know, the degree of motion it has. See, I can rotate it all three six degrees. And you know, just use your imagination. You can see that you know the many uses you can you can use. And I'm just using basic ge you know geometric shapes here. So you can imagine if you had um different symbols, you know, as um say I create a a circle or something. Um here. Oh well oh see that's another thing. Um I was trying to create another symbol but I wasn't able to do that because what I'm operating in now is armature. Now, if you notice where I had the symbols before, symbol one, symbol two, symbol three, now they're all empty. So I can actually delete that because all, all those symbols are now deleted and everything operates within this armature. So anything I wanted to do to this, so say for example, I wanted to uh, edit or modify any of these symbols. Well, you just simple. You just use a select tool and uh, click on it, and it isolates that symbol. Now you're inside the individual sim symbol, and you can say, okay, let's change the um, I'll change the shape. 
I'll delete that. Uh, make it a circle. Um, use the oval tool. There you go. Let's change the fill. Make it something else. So you see, you can you can actually still you still have the control, you know, of going in and modifying symbols. You know, nothing has changed. Um, it's just that it that modification takes place within the armature, and even so, you can still separate it. If you want to, um, you know, move it aside, and um, you know, you can still take it over here and 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 manipulate it, do whatever you want, go into it, you know, change things around a little bit. And then you go back out and then, you know, that's it. You can actually have it here and it still would be connected, you know, but of course you, you know, you'd want to um, reconnect it when you're done making whatever modifications, you know, so it's, it's pretty, it's pretty, it gives, it allows you, so for, let's do an, a quick animation. Um, let's create some frames here. Again, I said when you're creating frames, you use uh, F5 and there you go. So I go to five again and I'll just and I'll do something see there you go um, actually because I have um, an animation already done in the blue symbol that's what's going on so it's animating within the symbol and outside the symbol at the same time you know um, yeah, but that's pretty much how you do it. So you can you can just see. I mean, imagine if this were, uh, let's just say, um, I'll just use my uh, pen tab here, and you could make this um, make this like a, a snake or something, right? Uh, I'll do that. Uh, you know. like that and I go back out you know so that just you know gives you a little example of you know little creative ways you can it can really have a lot of fun with this and uh, the best way to learn is really just to practice you know watch as many tutorials I guess as you can like I did and um, you know you'll, you'll be able to learn to do pretty cool stuff with it so that pretty much covers the two main ways that you can use a bone tool um, and then in the next tutorial, I'll actually apply it to uh, a, a character that I have, and you'll see how I actually do it from, you know, from uh, some start to finish.